This surveillance video from a grocery store was taken just minutes before the brutal stabbing, where police say the man stabbed the woman several times throughout her body, including her face. It's sad, you know, this is horrible how, you know, women are treated, you know, um, their lives just mean nothing. I'm scared for everybody. I'm scared for our children. I just think that was pure hate. Beautiful Ashley Lockhart was an incredible mother to six amazing little girls who she referred to as her six charms. Ashley was a hard-working and committed mother to her children. She showed her love for each of her girls by devoting her time, energy, and making personal sacrifices for them. She put forth great effort in teaching her kids to love themselves while letting them know that they could achieve anything. Go! It's the keys that unlock the doors to success. So I pledge allegiance that I do my very best. No matter whatever the test, my mind's made up just to go an extra mile. I want to make children that's simply and love 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 Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 34-year-old Ashley was engaged to 34-year-old Raymond Thompson, who was the father of her six girls. They were together for many years and were engaged to be married. They had a beautiful family. The details of what happened during their relationship is unknown, but it appears there was domestic violence in the relationship, as Ashley secured a protection order against her fiancé. On the morning of August 6, 2022, at around 8.23 a.m., Ashley Lockhart's body was discovered inside a gold van, a Honda Odyssey on the 5300 block of Chestnut Street. She had been stabbed to death. She was discovered by Philadelphia police officers who responded to the scene. Her body was found in the front passenger seat of the vehicle. She had many stab wounds to her arms, neck, and torso, including one to her face, and the knife used in the attack was still sticking out of her head. Raymond Thompson, age 34, surrendered himself into the police less than an hour after the vicious assault that he had just committed. He was taken into custody without delay and is being charged with murder. Surveillance footage reportedly showed Raymond leaving a Honda Odyssey from the 5300 block of Chestnut Street on Saturday morning. Lockhart was allegedly a passenger in the minivan. Raymond allegedly went to a convenience store, returned to the vehicle, and attacked Lockhart. Reportedly after he stabbed Lockhart, who was sitting in the passenger seat of the vehicle, he left and got high on heroin before turning himself in to the police. According to law enforcement officials who spoke on the condition of anonymity, Thompson told police he stabbed Lockhart because he believed she had been cheating on him. However, the motivation for the killing has not been disclosed by authorities. Six little girls don't have a mom tonight. Ashley Lockhart was found stabbed to death inside a van in West Philadelphia. Her fiancé, who she had a restraining order against, has been charged with her murder. A vigil was held tonight, and eyewitness news reporter Alicia Roberts was in attendance. Alicia. Yuki, good evening to you. Ashley Lockhart is just the latest victim in a growing trend of violence against women. Tonight, out of respect for her children, her family asked us not to film a balloon release in her honor in its entirety. Green and white balloons painted the sky Monday night to honor a young life tragically cut short. Police found Ashley Lockhart with multiple stab wounds to the neck and arm sitting in the passenger seat of a Honda Odyssey minivan shortly before 8.30 a.m. Saturday morning. The van was parked at the corner of 53rd and Chestnut Streets. Less than an hour later, 34-year-old Raymond Thompson turned himself in for his fiancé's murder. Video shows Thompson walking into a convenience store before getting back into that van. Sources say Thompson believed Lockhart was cheating on him. According to the district attorney's office, Lockhart had a protective order against Thompson, although the pair was living together. This particular victim obviously did the right thing. Um, for some reason, she was back with this man in that particular van. I don't know the circumstances of that. I don't know why that was. Um, but sadly enough, she's not going to be a hero to tell us what happens. Lockhart leaves behind six daughters. A fundraising page calls them her six charms. The oldest is 10, the youngest just five months. Philadelphia police data show crimes against women have been trending up. 
So far this year, 189 women have been murdered. That's double the number for 2018 in full. Raymond was known to police due to his extensive criminal record. In an interview with a local television station, Lockhart's cousin, senior pastor William Brownlee, said that she was loved by everyone. Brownlee said that despite the fact that Lockhart had a restraining order against Raymond, she was still smitten by the father of her children. She had unconditional love for him. She fought for him, and she was the one who loved the children. When love is not reciprocated, that's when it becomes dangerous," said Ashley's cousin. People on social media have been showing support to Ashley Lockhart and her family. Jesus keep and protect these babies. This woman, Ashley Lockhart is now dead because she finally mustered up the strength to leave this man, and it causes her, her life. Listen, I don't know who you are, but abuse starts very subtle. It's never outright. Abuse starts mentally, verbally, emotionally, and then sooner or later it gets physical. These six beautiful little girls have lost their mom and dad because he will go to prison which he should and did not count up the cost for his wicked ways. I am deeply saddened by this. Women, abuse does not get better. Men abuse does not get better. It takes God to heal the hearts and minds of people, and if they not willing to let the demons controlling them go and really give it over to God, this is the end result. If you are a man or woman and in an abusive situation, please move in silence and wisdom, but get you and your babies out of there. Hashtag stop domestic violence. It's unknown why Ashley would get inside the vehicle with someone she had a protection order against. Only Raymond would know the answer to that. I'm sure she could have never imagined that he would take her life. Someone she loved and shared six beautiful girls with. Someone she thought loved her. What happened to Ashley Lockhart is an unimaginable tragedy. How could the man who was supposed to love Ashley take her life in such a brutal way? How could he leave their six beautiful daughters without the person who loved and cared for them the most? How could he leave them without any of their parents, and how would he ever be able to explain to his daughters why he took their mother away from them? My condolences to Ashley's friends and family. May you continue to heal and one day find peace. I am beautiful. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.